Good morning. Good morning. Hard, hard at work. I'm getting some editing done and then I'm gonna pr 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 pray that uh, the Wi-Fi here works enough for us to upload. Otherwise, we're gonna try to like buy a coffee at the Hilton or something. Something. I don't know if it's gonna work. Everyone observe my super burned forehead. Yes, I've got like a, a wee stripe, if you will, because I had a band on yesterday. It's no joke. 10,000 feet and we're on the equator. Oh, there's no more coffee. All right. so we're drinking this one this morning. It is grown and roasted and brewed right here in Ecuador. Hmm. So pretty good. This view is absolutely incredible. Mm. You guys know I'm not like the biggest city human, but this is beautiful. It's beautiful. Everyone is so friendly here. And just like we are in the city, but in between all of the buildings and like high rises, they're not too tall, which really helps you just see the mountain and the landscape. But there's just like pockets of like lush, beautiful greenery, like flowers and fruit. And like there's, there's a, what's that tequila plant? Agave. There's agave growing all over the sides of the hills when we're driving through town and stuff. It's, it's really cool. I like it here a lot. And this could be an amazing place to retire. So if you're an expat and you're watching, drop a comment down below, say hi, and what's your favorite part? This is the Diablo El Pilaro, the Japanese fishermen. They're trying to ruin the Galapagos as a national treasure by throwing so much garbage out that it'll lose its cleanliness. He's Diablo, he's the devil, but he's against the bad pirates that are taking the fish. You like your little legs, Gabby? <laughs> I think Pilato's gonna look great in the bus. What do you guys think? Super cute. The Galapagos are some of the most pristine, untouched places left on this earth, so he's kind of chasing away the bad Japanese fishermen that are just throwing all their garbage everywhere. I love it. Leave no trace, people. Leave no trace. I had to do the video twice. I hate using trackpads. I hate them. Somehow I did a shortcut and just deleted everything. We're lighting ourselves up with cell phones right now because we're in bed. <laughs> yeah. There's no, like, lamps in here. No, and I love lamps. I love lamp. I love, I do love lamp. We just wanted to say goodnight. We, we didn't do a lot of filming today, but I wound up, like I said, editing multiple times. And then we went on Lost Renegades Live. Now we're just getting ready for bed. It was a, a day in the air, in air, in air. What is it called? An Airbnb. Thank you. It's a day in the rental. We'll see you in the morning. Good night. Good night. Good morning. Good morning, Kido. We are going to go to a lake. What's yeah. it called? Quilatoa. We're going to Quilatoa, which is a volcanic crater lake, or caldera lake. It's very cool. It's like a three-hour drive, so it's a total of six hours in the car today. But we're here, and we're going to go see it, because a lot of people had told Jan that it's highly recommended. <laughs> that out. And, uh, team. <laughs> and I also found it. Yeah, but anyway, All right, you well, know, okay. I'm just, you know just joking. Let's throw this on your face. <laughs> Go ahead. Tell them, tell them all the secrets. I was done. Oh, she's done. Also, so. we got like a three cylinder, so going up in Andes Mountains is going to be shh. Yeah, I feel like we're going to be going like 30 miles an hour. That car has zero power. Um, no balls. Yeah, it's, it looks like a, like a Jeep Cherokee. You know, but it has like the motor of like a, you know, Geo Metro. So as we're driving up this very steep road, people will just run out in front with a rope and a red like towel on it and try to entertain you to get you to give them 
money. Yeah, it was a absolutely insane drive. Um, basically windy roads the whole way. But we have made it. It's a Crater Lake Volcano. So otherwise known as a caldera in a lot of places. The same as like Santorini. In Greece is all caldera, but I'm not lying when they say it's a green lake. I only see one person down there kayaking. I read that it's about a 30 minute hike to the bottom, but it certainly looks like a lot longer. Yar. You hungry? I'm hungry. What is it? Pollo. Very good. Pollo de papas. Pollo de la plancha is what he got. So I got a logras de papas, which is a traditional Ecuadorian soup they do. So it's kind of cream based, there's potato chunks in it, there's also some cheese and some avocado. So it looks pretty good. And it smells yummy. I'm Irish, so give me any potato anytime. Oh, that was muy delicioso. Very good. I'm a big fan of potatoes, so. Yeah. Very delicious and good conversation. Gorgeous view. Absolutely stunning. We also saw like this crazy hummingbird with super long tail. Um, I don't know what kind it is. I need to look it up, but it was pretty cool. It's been overall, already feels like a long day, but it's only, it's not even one. <laughs> so I think we have some stops that we want to make after we kind of putz around, maybe see some of the little town. And then, uh, yeah, I could be feeling a nap. Canyon, oh no, <laughs> Mirador de Canyon de Dutch. I'm sorry. Wow. I get nervous when I'm around heights. Wow. I'm nervous, Nelly. I'm gonna move away from the edge now. It's very cool. Yeah, this is definitely fresh and black. Oh, that good. We're back doing windy road things. And so far we haven't seen my my logra de papa, my soup again, which is good. Does it drive a little better? It's better. Down? There's at least there's been less of the crazy fuckers with the ropes. Alright, we are going to Hacienda Telepulo, I think is how you say it. Um it should be cool, it's like an abandoned kinda thing, but it's the first time we've driven through trees. All right, we just got to Hacienda Telebulo and it appears it's closed. Even though I checked online and it's, oh, see, it looks really pretty. I checked online and it said it was open, but. Yep, so I guess not. There it is, guys. <laughs> I'm slaying. <laughs> this is how we're doing this right now. We are. Oh. Yar, what's back there? Hopefully there's not someone just staring on the other side. Well, you guys well, saw more than we did. Yeah, I'm gonna look at the footage later and that's how we, we enjoyed this spot. What's the blue, green, silver spiky plant? It is a... Oh my God, you literally just had it. Hold on one second, I'm driving. Potatoes. It's made from agave plants. Oh, very good, agave tequila. All right, we came to a beer garden called Bloor, and I got a blackberry sour. She's got a galaxy up here. Yeah, so. My mom got a lemonade. Lemonade. That's good. Let's taste so. I loved that song. I loved that song. 
No, kiss me. No, fuck you. <laughs> fuck you. Okay. Buenos dias. It is a uh, New Year's Eve morning. We were off by a day, so we thought that it was New Year's Eve tomorrow. So we're kind of having to wrong. figure that out. We were wrong. But yeah, we're gonna, I think we're gonna try to go out for a little bit and explore, just the two of us, because we haven't gotten much me and Kenzie time. It's fun getting to see my mom, but we're so used to being just the two of us all the time, it's it's like we miss each other's time also. Yeah. So we got to kind of figure out how to balance those, um, just so we I'm not ignoring the my sweet beautiful wife. I've been next to him for the past four days, like nonstop. But I'm like I miss you. Yeah. So where are you? We're gonna we're gonna go out today and, and uh, see what we can find in this town. Where are we? We're at the Bukhari House of Chocolate. <laughs> So, we're gonna get some breakfast, and then we're gonna get some sweets, and then we're gonna get some chocolate to go. And we'll probably have to run back to the Airbnb to drop off the chocolate, because it is like a very nice day. here. I freaking love chocolate. I'm so excited. Oh, I got hot drinking chocolate, which looks amazing. And I got like a pesto grilled cheese, brekkie toaster, with my scrambled eggs and orange juice. And Chase got, you want to tell him what you got? I got a breakfast crate with chicken and bacon and some sort of stuff on top. And then I got a cafe americano because I just wanted a coffee. And I got a chocolate cookie. What? We got a cookie. Mine is, mine is delicious. It's so tasty. I'm a little jealous. <laughs> she jelly of mine. It's so good. It's mine so good. Very good. Hers is really good. I tried it, but as soon as I did, I was like, oh, you're going to be jealous of mine. Yeah, mine's got like some sort of creme sauce. And, mm, this is perfect. Very excited. That right there is some legit ho-cho. This is the world's best cup of ho-cho. Jen. Like All right, breakfast was amazing, and we are gonna go to the botanical garden. botanical gardens. Hopefully, they're open. Where are we at? Parque Le Caralino. So this is a huge recreational park. There's lots of little sculptures in here. There's also a botanical garden. So I want to see some orchids, but if they're closed, then we're just gonna find a nice tree and chill in the park for a little bit and drink some water. Some of these trees that I saw in the jungle when I was in Costa Rica and became fascinated with plants, they have like a protective shield of like armor almost, where they have spikes where only certain species of ants can crawl up them and certain very, very small tree snakes can like wiggle between them. But other than that, other animals can't really get up there because they bear fruit and it protects it. No smell. Nope. Full disclaimer, you probably shouldn't smell flowers that you don't know what they are. Hi. <laughs> I'm an idiot though. I'm happy to see you. Oh, beautiful. What do we got? Pretty sure this is Abu Puya. You can kind of see the little glistening beads on it. It's not Abu Puya. Abu Puya looks very, very similar. But you give her a squeeze and it oozes out all those good juices. And yes, that is the shampoo you're thinking of. Abu Puya shampoo conditioner. But 
it is so pretty. Um, lots of interesting plants. Kinsey is so happy. I'm, I'm a little hot, but that's okay. I probably shouldn't have worn a long sleeve shirt today. Or black. Or, or black pants. Black shirt. <laughs> but yeah, it's pretty sweet so far. We're gonna go try to find the Japanese garden and then I think we're gonna head back and get ready for dinner. Japanese gardens they're my favorite so this one's like inspired inspired I mean it is it's Japanese style but like in real Japanese gardens they're so immaculate and this one obviously has like you know it's it's tough for them to care for all of it this has been such a lovely day getting to spend it together yeah so lovely but I love plants she loves plants I love What time is it? B-roll clock. B-roll clock. B-roll clock. Chase has another one of his Santa Rosa IPAs. And I got a Santa Rosada. And it's a sour. I got a sour beer and I'm going to enjoy it in the shower because I love shower beers. Literally like nobody out here. It's like a car. Crazy. Yeah, like every once in a while we see a car, but overall, empty streets. Wild. Cheers. Ooh, baby. What'd you get? I got steak guitar because we're in a fancy restaurant and I feel like eating some raw meat. We have the same thing, so I don't have to picture her. <laughs> They're so pretty. They are pretty. Actually, yours is curling different. <laughs> What'd you get? Crispy skin sea bass with an assortment of clams and mussels. What'd I get? Baby cow. <laughs> I didn't get a baby cow. Mm. Zazu was delicious. Um, really tasty food. The chef there was trained in France and uh, food was amazing. Gordon oh. Ramsay would be impressed. Okay. Dinner was amazing. It was really good. So good. That might have been one of the best meals I've ever eaten in my life. I felt like a bougie. It was great. <laughs>